All right, I got it wired up. Um, I couldn't mount it the same way I mounted my other one, so I kind of uh, took the casing off of the drill and split it in half and cut some of the bottom off, cut the handle part off, and used this block back here to uh, gap it from the side of my wall to give me the distance I needed and then uh, use these longer screws to screw through the, the uh, casing. So it worked for me. Um, my last one I didn't do like that. I used uh, some other scrap material I had. So you may have to just uh, uh, work from off the top of the dome with this one. Um, but basically it seems like it's working. The more you run it, the smoother the thread it get. Make sure you grease it. Um, I just used some bearing grease that I had uh, over on the shelf from packing bearings from my truck. Uh, but make sure you use some grease or something to thread that rod before you start turning it. Because it's... At first, it's a little stiff, so you have to play with it and uh, tweak it and get it right. Um, that's how I mounted it onto the. Uh, just use it two uh, bolts. I actually use two little bolts. Um, I don't know if you can see the bolts in the back, but uh, that's how I used it. And I'm gonna run it. I just got it hooked manually to a bat to this little battery right here. So I'm just gonna run it manually for you to just see it turn here. All right. Bingo. And it uh to the shelf. Now you can't really tell that they're tilted from me sitting down here. But if you look at it like that, you can see that they're tilted. And then if I just go and reverse the wires on the battery. Give me a second here. Okay, I just reversed the wires on the battery and then connect it. Oops. And there she goes. As you can see, all the trays are turned upwards. So, that is beautiful. You gotta love it. You got to love it. So, um, I'm, we're going to wire it to the limit limit switches, and uh, I will try to walk you through that next step. Okay, these are these are limit switches. Okay, I don't know or, or micro switches or what they what they're called. Um, so basically, how they work is they're either on the stay on position or the uh, off position, or they call it open or closed position. Um, if you hook, in, in this case, we're going to use it, I don't know what it's called, if it's on the on or, or closed position, but I think it's, uh, the closed position. We're going to basically hook one wire here, we're going to hook one wire in this end, so that way, when the, uh, shelf hits this little roller, this little roller here, it's going to push that in and shut the power off. Gonna come up, hit it, click, shut it off. Then we're gonna have another one for the bottom. When the shelf comes down, it's gonna hit it and shut it off until the timer can uh, shut the power off. Okay. So we're gonna um, mount one of these on the side, and then I'll let you see what it looks like. All right. So you want to put a little lip on the end of one of your shelves because this this little lip you want to hit the limit switch as you see I don't have it's not on any of the other ones it's just on one because you want to kick out to hit that limit switch and I know it's kind of dark I'll probably stop this video turn my light on and start another one so you can see it better but basically what you want to happen is you want that switch to get hit by that limit switch when it comes up so anyways, I'm going to start this video over so you can see it better. <laughs> 